Hey party peeps, Carl O'Brien here, coming at you for another edition of Ask Carl O'Brien. Got a great question here. Um, Carl, what is the best way to market my coaching company? David L. Okay, um, all right, so David, first of all, those guys, um, you, get, you guys watching, the more specific you can get with your questions, the better answer I'm gonna be able to give you. But let's presume here, what we're talking about is, you know, marketing your coaching company, okay? Um, First of all, you don't want to market your coaching company. What you need to do is you need to develop, create products, programs, and events for your coaching company, and effectively, that's what you promote, okay? So you also then wanna come up with clever names for those, okay? So I'll give you an example. Um, maybe the sporting industry is a good one. So you've got the NFL. It's the National Football League. Okay, they don't promote NFL. You're not gonna watch an ad come up on TV and be promoting the NFL. It's a small little logo in the bottom right hand corner, but what are they promoting? They're promoting products, so let's call that players. They're promoting services, let's call that games, and then they're promoting events, so let's call that rivalries, or that could be the playoffs, or that could be the Super Bowl. Okay, that's what they really promote. And notice they've come up with clever names, like all of the teams have clever names, and then really importantly, the Super Bowl. Like we accept the Super Bowl as something that we watch every year and we get excited about, but at the end of the day, you know, many decades ago, somebody sat down and then said, okay, what are we gonna call the preeminent game in our sport? And they came up with the word Super Bowl, and they thought it sounds pretty cool, and we just, um, you know, we just hear Super Bowl nowadays and we well and truly know exactly what they're, you know, anybody would be talking about. And people in other countries, like let's say Australia, where they refer to football as gridiron and nobody's, not for the most part, nobody's interested in football over there. But you say Super Bowl, they know exactly what it is because they've marketed um, the event so well. Okay, so back to you guys. So your coaching company, so I see this mistake all the time where people are sending out emails and you know running advertisements and that sort of stuff and you see affinitybusinesscoaching.com at the top or affinity business coaching. That's not what you wanna be promoting. That's, that's not what's gonna drive interest. What's gonna drive interest is your products. Okay, so let's say, like I have a, um, a program, we call it GPS, Guaranteed Profit System. I don't know, might sound a little cheesy, might sound fantastic. That's an example of a program that we've come up with and we know that our clients are looking for profits. We call it a guaranteed profit system and then bring it back to an acronym of GPS the same way that um, the NFL bring an acronym of their sport to NFL, right? You don't refer to it as National Football League, you refer to it as the NFL, okay? So that's a product. Um, a program that we've got, um, when I meet you at a particular, like let's say a networking function, that sort of stuff, we have a 45 minute turnaround where I guarantee to find any small business owner $10,000 in 45 minutes without spending a dollar on marketing or advertising. You could imagine that this is a service, this is a, an event, this is something that these people that I'm talking to, the butcher, baker, candlestick maker are interested in. So of course they, um, they buy it. And then an event, well, in fact, we have a program called Live Event Mastery. Well, there you go. And once again, we brought it back to three words. Always, in an ideal world, you always want to bring your names back to um, three words, the same way that NFL, NHL, uh, PGA. Um, if you're in Australia, it's the AFL. Um, most sports all come back to um, a three-letter acronym, okay? It's not by accident, by design, well and truly. So when you're naming your products, you're naming your events, you're naming your services, try keep it to three words and then after come back to a... Um, to an acronym, okay? So, but we have live event mastery where we show, so we have coaches in 24 countries, over 600 of them, and basically what we do is we help you put together local um, events with local business owners, and you get up there and do a, um, you know, a regular, you know, a two-hour event where you're teaching the business owners and the audience how to grow their business, and at the end of it, you say, hey, if you wanna get together one-to-one, -to -one, which most of them do, you end up uh, sitting with one-to-one -one business owners and converting a whole bunch of coaching clients. So we call this, so that's the name that we've come up with that. My question to you is, what's the name of your products? What are the name of your services? 
and what are the names of your events? And if you don't have that, you really need to sit down with a pen and paper and come up with it. And by the way, we're always here to assist you guys. So if you need any help, you just reach out. So look, guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, somebody's asking, David um, is asking, you know, how to, you know, how to go about promoting his coaching company. Remember, don't promote your coaching company, promote your product services and events. In my opinion, incredibly good marketing advice, okay? So if you like this video, guys, if you could do me a favor, like it, comment down below if you'd like to say your two cents, and ideally share it, that would be super fantastic. If you know of a coach that needs this stuff, put their name down, down there um, below. I've also got some, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Six Figure Coach Magazine, make sure that you do that. Um, and also, and if you have, or in fact, if you haven't as well, but I have some coaches training that I also highly recommend that you opt into. And again, you can get it through the Six Figure Coach Magazine. So guys, on behalf of uh, myself and David with this fantastic question, I'm gonna sign out. Thank you so much. And we'll speak to you guys soon.